the propensity to be angry, something which is developed genetically, something that exists in our nature, is it? Yes, I think it's the answer. I mean, it's, e it's very easy to blame everything you do on genetics. And in some senses, that makes sense. You know, you breathe because of genetics, mm -hmm. um, and you get angry because of genetics too. And men certainly get more angry than women. Um, it's clearly the case that supermen, people who abuse that wonderful hormone testosterone, people like bodybuilders and weightlifters who mm -hmm. inject it or take pills, uh, they get much more angry than normal people. And they pay the price, because if you look at the life and death of these individuals, they tend to die for very masculine reasons. First of all, they die younger than women, which is a pretty male thing to do anyway. They commit suicide, they're murdered, they, um, they murder other people. That's just the uh, figures, you mean? The, the, the figures show that? Oh, yes, the figures yeah. are quite strong. Um, if, if, you're a, a t if you're a superman, an ubermensch, and you, you misuse t testosterone, you're going to take 15 or 20 years out of your life, and you're going to die and live an angry person. So there's something in that. And as usual in biology, it's pretty good at explaining the extremes. They're very, very furious, and those are our testicles who tend to be very, very calm. But how much that tells us about you and me, the normal range, is much harder I'm to know. I'm taking you back then. So a eunuch, by nature, will be a calmer person? It seems to be true. They certainly live for longer. Um, there was a remarkable experiment done in the States in the 1930s when large numbers of young boys were castrated for terrible crimes like shoplifting, or even masturbation for that matter. And many of these ended up in institutions. And on average, they lived for 13 years longer than a typical male in that institution. And that simply tells you how powerful that hormone is. And one of the reasons they live longer is they lived a less aggressive, a less angry, a less furious life. So there's something in the story, there's no question.